Well, Ross, looking forward to this Wexford match at the weekend. Twelve months ago, you beat Wexford at the semi-final stage. So you know in your heart and soul that you can do it this weekend. But 12 months ago, Leash were doing well in the league. 12 months later, the league campaign didn't get off to a great start. Tough game against Wicklow last day in the championship as well. So you won't be taking anything for granted, I'm sure, in Crow Park this Sunday. No, absolutely not. Um, you referred to 12 months ago when we played Wexford in a Leinster semi-final. They were beating us by seven or eight points and they had a goal disallowed as well in the first half. So we're under no illusions as to how tough um, this game is going to be on Sunday. Um, we have had a disappointing league campaign. Wicklow is our first win of the year mm. and you have the likes of Wexford on the other hand who is the total opposite. They're unbeaten right throughout the league and have a very, have had a very good start to the championship. So really they're coming into this game with all the momentum and um, hopefully on the day we'll be able to stop that. If you go back I suppose to last January, okay the O'Burn Cup is a totally different kettle of fish but down in Enniscorty, Wexford beating Leash that day by a couple of points. Leash failed to pull away I suppose at the end when it was required is there much talk about that match coming into Sunday I suppose the teams will be totally different because the O'Burn Cups generally where you just try out players at the start of the year yeah, well, it is one of those competitions um, where it's nice to get back into playing football just after Christmas and so on. And the support, it's a, it's a nice competition for the supporters to get out. You know, puts football back in the minds, and you get back out there and 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 try focus on your training again. But, you know, I think. On Sunday, Wexford are going to be very confident going into the game because they have had that such a strong league campaign behind them. Because they have, um, because of what they did the last year, last week against Mead, and you know because they will take confidence of of what uh, of almost um, beating us last year in the championship. So they're they're going to be coming into the game with uh, with as I said uh, high confidence levels, and they're going they're not going to be fear and in any way. And you know it's going to be up to us to uh, try and put in a, a good solid team performance on the day. You're part of the leash camp, of course. People looking in at the outside. A lot of criticism in recent years and indeed in the past few months. I suppose it came to a head after that Wicklow game with what Liam Kern said about some of the local media. But do you feel that that has united the squad a lot more, that you know that Kearns is fully behind you, that he stood up for his squad and he expects a lot from his players and he knows he can get it from you as well? Yeah, I think Liam uh, sets the the bar fairly high when it comes to playing standard, um, and you know we're we know that you know we have to improve on what we play what we did the last day against Wicklow. We were in a, in a in a commanding position at half time, and you know compare that to with two three minutes to go, we were struggling to hold on to a one point lead. So that's something that we'd really need to work on for the next day, and uh, hopefully with all things going our way on the day and a little bit of luck thrown in as well, um, we'll we'll be in we'll be in the game with a couple of minutes to go and uh, hopefully be leading. The fact that this Sunday's game is in Crow Park does that make a difference for yourselves, knowing that you've had good victories there in recent years? Okay, a couple of disappointments too, but the fact that Wexford have probably had more bad days there in recent years um, than you have good ones. No, I don't think that's going to matter because you know we have a new manager in in Liam. Um, this is his second year on the go. Wexford have a brand new manager who seems to have brought a huge amount to uh, football down down in, in the county um, so both teams are, are, are going to be going into that game regardless of what's gone on in the past um, which, with very much focused on, on trying to, to win that Leinster semi-final and um, as I said there's going to be no quarter given we know exactly what kind of a, a task it is, it's going to be a very difficult uh, they're going to be a very difficult team to, to try and beat and all we can do is go up there and do our best on the day the results this year mightn't have really gone to form apart from that Wicklow result in the championship. How hard has it been to keep yourselves motivated? Are you at the right stage now at present that the league is very much in the past, a bad league campaign, and now it's about focusing on the championship ahead? Well, I think the fact that we've, we've, we didn't get um, too many wins, we didn't get any win in the league, and we didn't... Um, we weren't overly impressive against Wicklow. Means that we were very much kept grounded, and we, you know, there was no room for complacency or getting getting ahead of ourselves or anything like that. Because you know, when you come off the field against Wicklow, a little bit relieved, uh, well, a lot, very well, a lot, a lot of relief have, having won our first game of the year. You know, there's there's no doubt about it that we're we're focused and we're not going to be getting ahead of our head ourselves or looking any way ahead of Wexford. 
Do you think that the pressure that the Leash supporters place on you is a little bit unfair, um, considering, of course, you're only amateur players at the end of the day and you are trying your hearts out? Um, following that 2003 Leinster success, when you made your debut that year in the senior colours of Leash, it started on a high for yourself, but unfortunately, from a Leash perspective, there hasn't been those highs in recent years, but it hasn't been for a want of trying, I'm sure you'd agree. Oh no, not at all. I don't think the Leash supporters put us under pressure at all. Um, they're fantastic support. The turnout in their numbers um, for for all of our games. Um, they stuck with us right through through the league. You know, we have we went to places like Galway. We went to um, Donegal, and the support that, and and Tyrone as well. And the support that we had up up there was uh, was was fantastic, and it's very much appreciated by the players. So, you know, hopefully, I know there's a little bit of a distraction with the failure on this weekend, and it's probably going to take from uh, from numbers a bit, but. Please God, if, if for anyone who's who's fit and healthy and able to travel to the game, um, it would mean a lot to the players if 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 they, if they uh, got out and support us like they always do. You played Kildare uh, finally in a challenge match recently. It was a very tough physical encounter. Was that the type of game you needed after that Wicklow win? It was such a high, I suppose, to beat Wicklow, but at the end of the day, no silverware is won by a first round Leinster Championship match either. No, absolutely. You put you hit you hit the nail on the head there. There's no there's no uh, championships won uh, for first rounds or semi finals or anything like that. So that's why we won't be looking any way ahead of Wexford. Liam is very much focused on dealing with the with the job in hand, and that's exactly what we're hoping to do.